A boy named Benjamin Bowler spends 12 hours a day playing Call of Duty because he is lazy and he is a lowlife. So yes, everyone, it is pretty obvious that Ben Bowler is one of the Call of Duty fanboys because, one, he spends 12 hours a day playing Call of Duty like a saddo. Second, he's on a Prestige 7 level in that picture. And third, every time a new Call of Duty game comes out, he would spend all day playing the campaign and completing it in one day. And as for myself, I do not play the campaign in one day because at least I take a break from it. Like, I take a break from Call of Duty. Like, I do not spend 12 hours a day like Benjamin Bowler does, even though I do play it, but I take breaks on it. Like, I go on different games, such as Roblox, Halo Infinite, Need for Speed Heat, Fortnite, and even Sonic X Shadow Generations, and other games that I play at the moment, than just Call of Duty. And even Benjamin Bowler was claiming that I am one of the Fortnite fanboys who would spend 12 hours a day playing it. But do I ever do that? No. But I do spend a lot of time playing Fortnite with my friends, Jeffrey Bell and Joan, who is Zackboy13, who are my good friends in a Fortnite squad, because we actually do make a pretty good team. But, but we do not spend 12 hours a day playing it. Like, for example... We start going on at it at 5 o'clock at night or 6, whichever one. And then we finish at 10 o'clock or even half past 10 at night. So that basically proves that we are not like Benjamin Bowler, who spends 12 hours a day playing on a single game. This is something that you should not have to do. Is You should not have to spend 12 hours a day playing a single game like if you're going to do that at least take a break but if you do not take any breaks from it like having your dinner or what you're just going to keep playing the game non-stop then there's just clearly something wrong with your life and talking about ben there's clearly something wrong with his life like me jeffrey and joe and that always take a break from the game like you know as i say we take a break from fortnite we don't spend 12 hours a day and people who would say i spend 12 hours a day playing fortnite and i need to touch grass just don't even know how far they have their heads up their own asses and that's something ben doesn't even know so that's what makes benjamin bowler a low life than i am because at least me and my friends, like, you know, Jeffrey and Joan, have a life because we do not spend hours playing the game. Like I said, once again, I know you guys would say you don't need to repeat it, but, you know, it's just what it is, really. Yeah, because we actually take a break from Fortnite, though. We actually just take a break from it. Just because we do play it a lot, that does not mean to say that we are Fortnite fanboys. But people like Ben, who do spend 12 hours a day playing Call of Duty, like a single game in one day, no breaks or whatever, are just fanboys. Even though I do play BO6 as well, as I do not spend hours playing the game, the reason why I do not play it quite as much, and that I'm only Prestige 2, is because I actually have a life by taking a break from it. I even do the same thing with GTA or even Halo Infinite. And that's why I do not play those games as much. Well, I mean, 
Like, I do not play Black Ops 6 as much, or even Halo Infinite. Because, of course, like I say, you shouldn't have to spend 12 hours a day playing a single game. All in one day. If you're ever going to do that, if you want to spend 12 hours a day playing a single single game, then just take a break from it. Like, just... Just, like, finish up your game, whatever you do, like, finish your match. Just just take a break for about, I don't know how many minutes. And one once break's over, then start playing the game. Then once you're warned out, you know, just take a break. That's something that you should be doing in your life, is take breaks. Do not, like, play the game non-stop. Just don't do that, because it's incredibly unhealthy for you. And... Like with skill-based matchmaking as well, because people spend 12 hours playing a single game. And I could tell you this, skill-based matchmaking is also unhealthy for you. Because eventually, like when you play a game and you have skill-based matchmaking in it, and you try so hard, you go against these sweats in the sweat lobbies or what, it eventually just gets to the point where you're just like, I can't. I can't. And this is why I do not play Call of Duty or whatever games like this that have skill-based matchmaking as much. And as you guys know, skill-based matchmaking should only belong in ranked, not in casual. Because it's just not good for for casual players like me. Alright, that's enough talking about skill-based matchmaking. But... I wonder how Benjamin Bowler got up to Prestige 7, like, in a month. Because, of course, BO6 was released on the 25th, I believe. I, I can't remember. But just don't get me wrong. I know it was somewhere around those. I wonder how he got up to that level so quick. Well, obviously, he would spend 12 hours a day playing BO6, like maybe on multiplayer or zombies. Or, worst of all, he could have done an exploit glitch that can get you a load of XP. And 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 yes, in the community tab in the I can't speak in the community tab, I did ask you guys, do you think people doing exploits for XP on BO6 should get banned? And most of the votes on there out of yes, no, and I don't know, like, out of one of them, one was mostly yes. Because I do kind of feel like the exploits could get you banned. And if people are going to do exploits to get XP, then they should really get banned for it. Because it's not even legitimate at all. At least I'm not those kind of people who would do illegitimate stuff like that. It's just not fun. It's not fun. And whatever Ben did on BO6, yeah, was illegitimate. And also, at least I'm more legitimate than Ben. Because, as I say, at least I don't do illegitimate stuff or or just whatever I do. But anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. There's nothing else I can say. But I will tell you this in conclusion. Benjamin Bowler is lazy, illegitimate, and has no life. And I know Benjamin Bowler is going to say to me, Oh, you need to touch some girls because you spend 12 hours a day playing Fortnite. Well, obviously, people who say, I need to touch grass. Well, if you think I've never touched grass, Actually, watch that video. Just don't judge a book by its cover. Just watch it. Because I do go out every day. So, yeah, as I say, don't tell me I've never been outside. Don't tell me I've never left the house. Don't tell me that I've always spent 12 hours a day playing video games for 12 hours straight. Like, 24-7. Do not even tell me that. Because that's something... That I never do. But anyways. That is going to be it for today's video. So 
Hope you've enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day and night to you all. Peace out. Under